at five, we now know the name of a man who was killed in a church parking lot in Fairfield. The Jefferson County Coroner's Office has identified him as 33-year-old Javaris James. Police tell us James was shot outside Crumbly Bethel Primitive Baptist Church on Sunday night. Now, in addition to that incident, another shooting in Fairfield over the weekend left five people injured, and this included a young child. A very violent weekend, and the violence has people on edge and police in high gear. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan live in Fairfield tonight with more. Mike? Well, Jim, Fairfield police tell me that the victim from the latest shooting was using a program like this one to find his stolen phone. They say that the signal led him straight to an armed suspect. Not only that, but they are still investigating a nightmare scenario from Friday, a shooting inside a shopping mall. The fatal Sunday shooting happened in a church parking lot near Miles College. Fairfield police say the victim probably knew the suspected shooter. Investigators think the suspect was driving a late model brownish gold Nissan Maxima, possibly with chrome around the sunroof. We were given street names of uh, G Boy or G Bo. We are still working aggressively to identify that person. I believe we have some. Good intel that may lead us to his identif identification recently. Fairfield police are also investigating a shooting inside Western Hills Mall, where police say multiple people were shot and a five year old was hit with shrapnel from a shattered window. Chief Davis says the suspected shooter was hit with return fire and they are trying to subpoena his hospital records to identify him. What's shocking to me is the age of the, the, the people involved. It's, it seems to be getting younger and younger. Oh, naturally, you'd be worried about it, you know, because we're here every day. Longtime Fairfield business owner Alton Jones thinks crime is getting worse. Every time it's Fairfield. Just like first thing I seen on the news this morning was uh, some kid got shot. We'll just try to keep our eyes and ears open and hopefully it happens on the weekend instead of during the week because we're not here on the weekends. Now, in light of the city's current uncertain financial future, I asked Fairfield Police Chief Leon Davis if this violence hits at the worst possible time. He tells me that his officers are focused on solving crimes, not what's happening at City Hall. Live in Fairfield, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.